Hello and welcome to What The Hey. Thank you very much for joining me to check out a video that someone suggested I react to and that person was Michael T 96 So hello to you and thank you very much for requesting today's video. And the actual content that I'm checking out today is titled Sabaton Bismarck Official Music Video, which was premiered on April 22nd of 2019. The video duration is 6 minutes and 9 seconds and the video description provides links to check out more of the channel's work lyrics to the full song, as well as information on the people who contributed to the song and its significance. The actual video itself was uploaded by Sabaton, who all have like tagged and linked in the description, so if you do in fact want to check out more of their work, you can in the description. Also in the description, if there's anything in this video that I feel like someone would potentially want to be warned about, I'll mention that there. You can read it if you want to. You obviously don't have to if you don't want to. And last but not least, in the comment section, I'll pin a comment with the different like timestamps and segments of this video. So if there's something specific you want to listen to or check out, you can go to that comment, click it, and be there, which is great. Uh, but I believe that is all of the information-y stuff, so let's actually check out the video itself. Misty Foggy Town. Where is this taking place? I don't know, but I would like to live there. Never mind. Kind of looks a bit destroyed. We got some army vehicles. I believe this is something historic, which is cool because I love history, but I don't know 100% what this is going to be about. I think it's something to do with, like, a ship which I'm not very well versed in that kind of history. Um, so this is actually gonna be really cool. Maybe I will learn something. I will glean from the video. So, Bismarck. Did you find the boat? There is the boat. It is in fact right there. That's how cool. We got instruments on the boat. How cool. It's, how, it's nice how that works out. You just got instruments on the boat. So seriously, this does actually kind of look cool. Like clearly a lot of effort was put into this because wow. The setting looks really cool. I like how they had a giant like metal S on the back because I've never listened to Sabaton. I think is how you... They got that motion with their head. Let's go. This is intense. Props to them for having such long hair because I cannot imagine. That looks like it probably takes a lot to manage. Anyways. I've never listened to their music, so this is exciting. Another giant boat? Is that supposed to be it? Probably. I feel like there's an accent in here. <laughs> this is so intense. That is a very intense boat. Is that huge? Are they in the rain, by the way? I don't know what that is, but that's cool. De this definitely has a lot of actual history to it, which is fun. I'm guessing that might be the people who manned it, maybe? Oh, this is definitely a World War II thing, maybe? Because if we're talking about the allies, probably. This is so intense. I'm guessing this kind of seems like it's reenacting what probably happened. Which is cool. It looks like that's a compass thing. I don't know why. It's, uh, that kind of sounds German, so maybe this is about a German ship, I'm guessing. Because Germany made a lot of crazy, impressive stuff. I'm guessing this is recounting one of its like biggest battles, probably. That was intense. 
Oh no, is it going down? Oh, definitely Germany. The Nazi flag was in there, so that's interesting. Wait, is this a like a happy song then? Because the boat's going down. I would assume this is kind of happy because you know we don't want something like that going around blowing everybody up. Their outfits are really cool, by the way. There it goes. Bye bye. So intense. Oh, he's got his little watch thing. Maybe it's a watch. I thought it was a compass. That dude is like jamming out. This is so intense. Oh, all the people like swimming. Oh my gosh. That's a cool small little detail. I mean, I'm guessing he didn't though, because it looks like it kind of got blown up. I don't know if this is retelling, because there's specific like characters in this. So I don't know if that guy that's swimming in the water is important. I really don't know. Are they saving him? That's nice. Why does he have like a chest plate? Like what is going on with that? I don't know. Oh, is that the guy? Like he's older so he still has a little watch? Is that what that is? Maybe. I love how small that boat is compared to the Bismarck. That's kind of funny. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. That's a fun little dedication. I like that. That's interesting. Okay, because I'm not familiar with really a lot of Navy history, just battleship stuff in general, I wanted to look up information because I feel like that's kind of important to actually discuss this. So apparently I'm correct that the Bismarck sailed for Nazi Germany and kind of seeing that flag for like 0.5 seconds makes sense and kind of confirm that. And then the Kriegsmarine, I guess is how you say that, was like the Nazi Germany, you know, Navy for World War II, which I kind of feel happy that I guessed that because, you know, hearing the allies in the song kind of clued me into something that it was like World War I, World War II, but I guessed World War II, so I kind of feel good about that. So when the song is talking about how the ship is like super big, apparently that's actually accurate because according to, you know, Wikipedia, it says that it is one of two ships that were like the largest battleships ever built by Germany and two of the largest built by any European power. So it was in fact a very big ship. So according to the history that I'm reading and kind of from the music video, like tying those two together, apparently the damage that the Bismarck took was over a few days, like that led to it actually, you know, sinking or whatever. But in the music video, it shows that there's like airplanes, right? And apparently like it was attacked by like 15 different torpedo bombers. So the fact that they did include like all of these different details into how the ship actually went down is really cool. So now that I actually have some context for what was going on in that music video, I can tell that a lot of effort was put into it, not only for the really good music, but also for like the costumes and everything, and then what the video was actually showing, because I had no idea what I was going to watch going into this. So with the actual lyrics and everything that were sung, I feel like a lot of the lyrics were like kind of repetitive, which is totally fine because they were like really stressing the fact that this ship was freaking huge and you know, it was supposed to sail the seven seas because it was huge because Germany put that effort into building a giant battleship which I think I'll probably go back and listen to it again because I feel like it was kind of explaining what was actually going on, but I didn't understand it history-wise. So now that I kind of know what actually it was talking about, I can re-listen to it and understand or appreciate it more. 
but the music was very nice. It was very intense. Usually I don't listen to that kind of music, but I don't mind it. And clearly there's a lot of energy put into it. You know, like how they were all headbanging and stuff. That's always like really fun. For me, even if I don't really enjoy a certain genre, if I can tell that the artist and the people who did the music are enjoying themselves, I'm like, that's great. Uh, so watching that music video, it looked like they were having a great time. Um, so I think that's great. I feel like the Bismarck is probably something that I have read in a history book, but I never feel like, you know, Navy battleship stuff is ever covered too much when it comes to really any kind of history. So I suppose this is one of those things that people really get excited about if they are really kind of interested in this kind of topic. Um, and now that I kind of know a little bit about it, this music video kind of makes me want to learn more, which I think is fun. And you know, seeing that little dedication at the end of the song is really cool. I don't feel like I see that too much in music videos. Sometimes you'll see dedications to like people in films and movies during like, you know, the credits and stuff. I don't think I've ever really seen that in a music video. So I think that's really cool. And you know, as the saying goes in that one song, it's like war, what is it good for? Absolutely nothing. So when it comes to war, there's nothing ever really gained. You get like a lot of loss of actual people. So seeing someone recognizing that, I think is really cool. So that's also like a nice thing that I noticed. But that's essentially the reaction video. And once again, if you want to check the video out for yourself as well as Sabaton, I'll have like their social media, the video and the channel linked in the description. So you can check those out if you want to. Um, but I believe that is it. So thank you very much for watching. Bye.